Hi everyone, this is Paul here from the Magdalene Centre. Today I'm going to be talking about the Sun's transit through Virgo, starting on the 22nd of August and finishing on the 22nd of September when the Sun moves on into Libra and marks the beginning of a new season. So, Virgo is the mutable Earth sign, it's the sixth sign of the zodiac, and this sign is very much um, focused on the day to day aspects of life, the nitty gritty, the practical details that we need to address every day in order to keep things running smoothly and at this time of year Virgo represents the harvesting of whatever products we started when the Sun was in Aries at the beginning of the astrological cycle so we had this planting of seeds back in Aries now we're at the harvest time so we're looking at what has grown well and what didn't grow um, as intended and um, figuring out how can we make improvements going forwards? So Virgo is a virgin. If you look at her, her glyph, she's always, or her symbol, it's a woman with, who's separating the wheat from the chaff. She's the one who uses discrimination and discernment to figure out, okay, what things are working well and, and are pure and which things didn't go well and could potentially tarnish things if it's not separated from the crop. So. During this time, we may find ourselves analysing the creative products we started at the beginning of the astrological year and figuring out what has gone well, what has room for improvement and what just didn't work for whatever reason and either needs to be re-evaluated or just not bother pursuing it any further because it just didn't work for us. It's all different, so one project may work incredibly well for one person but doesn't yield the same results for another person by virtue of them being a different individual. <clears throat> so during this time it's important that we look at the projects that we started and also use the discerning nature of Virgo to figure out okay which bits need um, work on, how can we take what we've got already and how can we improve this to make something even better. Because at its best, Virgo is very good at refining things. It is the sun, all about self purification and refinement. So it takes the nitty gritty, or it takes the um, things which aren't, that are working but they're not optimised yet, and through the process of analysing and evaluating um, the information we have and the results, and, for, and using this, that analytical ability to figure out okay, how can we improve this so that we get an even better um, performing um, project? How can we make small adjustments that will yield big results? Because Virgo is all about mastery. It, it's about those physical skills and things like learning a trade. So it's taking the skills that we already have and creating something even better from it. This doesn't mean that we can you know, criticise ourselves or judge ourselves as not very good if the products haven't worked out particularly well. It's about using that innate practicality um, inherent to Virgo to figure out, okay, this didn't work out very well, why? What did, what was or wasn't done that's led to um, the outcome? And what changes do we need to make next time we do this project, if we do decide to do the same project again, that will allow a better outcome or a stronger growth? Because um, Virgo is, very, is all about evaluation and figuring out how can we hone what we already have to make something even better. And this doesn't just apply to our external projects, it also applies to ourselves. Because we, at the, the beginning of the cycle we have a rebirth of the ego, so our identity is ready for a new cycle of growth and during this time we need to look at ourselves as well so what skills have we got at the moment that either either untried are um, rather basic at the moment or um, are doing okay but could do with improvement and how what changes can we apply to these skill sets to make them even better and it's also about self-refinement, so having had the Sun in Leo and being all about that creative expression, now's the time to refine it. In the same way that 
um, Leo may be the actors, but if they don't do the rehearsals and you don't have the people doing the backstage stuff to get the venue ready, then the place not, may not go um, or may not have the greatest reception when shown in front of the audience, i.e., Libra. So Virgo is all about doing that research, doing that analysis of right, we need to improve this, this, and this. Right, how do we do it? How can we take this thing and refine it? Um, how can we separate the wheat from the chaff so we've got the pure stuff and we can jettison the stuff that isn't working and isn't going to fulfil the goals that we aim to achieve? So this is um, part of the process of Virgo. One of the things we do need to bear in mind during this transit though is the, if we it's important that we do work on ourselves and always have an attitude of self-improvement but taken too far Virgo can lead to a sense of perfectionism so this is where we think we're not good enough and we have this very high standard which more than that is actually unattainable at least where we are at the moment but because we set the standard so high we can the only thing we can do is fail and then we criticize ourselves because of this and and self-criticism is not healthy. It's okay to... Self-evaluation is important because this... And honest self-evaluation as well, so we can figure out where our strengths and weaknesses are. But it's important that this whole process is done through complete and unconditional self-acceptance so we don't undermine our sense of self-esteem. Because without self-esteem and self-worth, we wouldn't have the courage to you know, take on board any new projects or to pursue the project in the first place. So during this transit, we do need to make sure that whatever we do, we temper it with unconditional self-love and self-acceptance. We also be honest about ourselves. Because the thing is, the, the shadow side is perfectionism, the higher side is self-improvement. The difference between the two is perfectionism sets this nebulous, unobtainable goal. Self-improvement says, okay, this is where we are now. This is where we want to go. What steps do we need to take to refine this to become a better um, version of ourselves? Because through this self-refinement, we become far more skilled and we can achieve far higher quality projects in the long run. So it's important, and one of the things with Virgo is it can be a very humble sign at its best, as long as it everything we do in terms of improvement is tempered by unconditional self-acceptance. Because when everything is tempered by that unconditional self-acceptance, it allows true humility where we're not we're not lambasting ourselves, we're not talking ourselves down or being self-deprecating. We're just saying, yeah, this thing's going pretty well, but I can see where I need to improve it, and I'm going to do that action so that I've produced something even better in the long run, or going forwards. So there's a lot of practical wisdom that we can achieve through embracing the high version of Virgo. It's important that it always be tempered with unconditional self-love and self-acceptance, so that analytical um, function does not destroy our self-esteem. The thing is, if we become too critical of ourselves, that self-criticism can very quickly become crit critical of other people as a means of trying to avoid the pain of all that self-judgment. So during this time, if we're someone who, for whatever reason, we torment ourselves with perfectionistic standards and we torment ourselves with that inner critic, now it's time to address this side of things and be more understanding of ourselves and show more self-compassion, self-acceptance and self-love. And through this, we can then modify what we're doing in a healthy way, which is motivated by love and will improve our ability to serve others because Virgo is about service but for us to truly serve people as opposed to mastering ourselves requires us to love ourselves to begin with because service is not contrary to the way the way society seems to treat it is not something that's beneath us it's not something that someone is of lower status and they're serving serving is a natural um, outlet for love because if we want if we have an honest desire to serve people that also motivates us to improve ourselves in a healthy way so we can become better at providing that service and other people benefit from it but we have to make sure that 
all this evaluation that we do as we separate the wheat from the chaff is done through self-love and self-acceptance so that we don't destroy our self-worth and we um, be a loving, wise um, presence that can show other people how to make improvements to things if they're struggling without making that person feel judged or criticised because our words are motivated by love and is a desire to serve. I hope that's a useful guide for the sun in Virgo. May it bring you many blessings and may it bring you much improvement in your life as we work on ourselves to become better versions of ourselves than we already are. Take care, be blessed.